Well, uh, first and foremost, it's the, the client experience has to be wow. So, right. you know, it's so first of all, you have to have a very strong value proposition. And if your value proposition today is your fee based money management, uh, I want to tell you that that's not a wow. That's now a shelf product. OK, so you're, you're not going to get too far with that. Your wow has to be, well, what what is it? And, and I'll share with you what I believe the wow is. It's truly delivering on comprehensive, collaborative planning. It's right. not about investment management is just table stakes today. You right. really have to be that quarterback. You really have to be that personal CFO. You really have to be engaged and involved with your client and their family. You have to be able to coordinate and collaborate with all their different advisors. And um, that's where I believe we are not there yet. We are certainly getting there uh, where that becomes the value proposition for the majority. Um, the other wow for us is recognizing that there is a blue ocean strategy out there. So I don't know if your listeners have read, I hope they've read the blue ocean strategy. Uh, it changed my view of things. It basically talked about how did Southwest change the uh, airline industry? How did Cirque du Soleil change the circus industry? What they did is they created new demand. Uh, so when you look at our industry, most financial advisors are really playing in not the blue ocean, but the red ocean. And mm, the red yeah. ocean is that's where all the blood is because you're fighting to get everybody else's clients. So you're saying, well, my advisor is this, or I'm younger than he is, or our firm can do this, and, but it's all around investment advice and, and counsel uh, around it. The blue ocean strategy is recognizing, well, where is there new demand for wealth management? And the new demand is coming in two places. Uh, the obvious place is next gen because of the tremendous wealth transfer and transition from the baby boomers. And there's a lot of people that haven't figured out how to go about uh, attaching themselves in, in, in working with that next gen. And then the other, which is the one we chose, which is uh, business owners, uh, the baby boomer business owner who has the bulk of their wealth tied up in their businesses. So they don't have large investment accounts. Their fears and concerns have nothing to do with that. It has to do with how do I transition the business? How do I keep my business going? It's all around the business. So business planning, succession and exit and transition planning, that's new demand that comes into the marketplace. And you have to be able to be, able to be good enough to help that client. And that's the market, you know, that we are in. And so for us, it's a wow value proposition because every time we talk to a business owner, frankly, when we talk to COIs, attorneys and accountants, they said, yeah, that's great. No one's really doing this. There's a, now, that was a number of years ago today with the SEPA program, the Exit Planning Institute out of, uh, I think they're in Philly, and then there's the Business Enterprise Institute out of Denver. There are more and more of these organizations that are training different advisory groups how to run a successful exit transition process. But if you're still focused on investment management, and that is the only way you get paid, then you tend not, you give that stuff away. Oh, I, I do all that, but are you really doing all that? Or is it really just a way for you ultimately to be there when the business owner sells and then you hope you get, you know, the investment work? It's a lot like the planning. You know, a lot of people give away planning in the idea that, well, if I do all this planning for the client, then they'll bring me their assets. Now, it's not, I don't believe that's the way to approach this. So you're either going to focus your practice on planning or you're going to focus your, whether that's planning around the individual, whether it's planning for the next gen, whether that's planning or planning for the business owner. I think 
the future of the industry is really, as I said, delivering on comprehensive collaborative planning. Unlocking a lifetime of work is what we're talking about, whether it's a professional or whether it's a, primarily a business owner for us. Thank you.